Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure many of you know, the NCAA tournament ended last night in dramatic fashion. Did you see this when Chris Jenkins of Villanova scored the game-winning shot at the buzzer? Take a look. Three seconds at mid-court. Jenkins gives it to Jenkins for the championship. It was amazing. It was an incredible moment uh, in the tournament. It was so incredible. And the guy who made that shot, uh, Chris Jenkins, unfortunately, he couldn't be reached for comment because he's currently having sex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has to be. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I want to say, as someone who grew up in love with the great state of Villanova, this is very <laughs> exciting for me. I'm kidding. I know Villanova is in the state of Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> but seriously, this championship was crazy. The last time Philadelphia saw a basketball game that was this dramatic, Will Smith got sent to live with his auntie and uncle in <laughs> Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a lot of sports in the news today. Uh, surprisingly, that the social media platform Twitter has just signed a historic deal with the NFL to live stream Thursday night football games this coming season. Before this, the only thing Twitter ever live streamed were Kanye's meltdowns. <laughs> but we actually have a leak of an early tweet of your dad trying to figure out how to watch a football game on Twitter. Uh, the tweet reads like this. Turn on game. Want to watch game. Dolores, can you call Kyle? He's good with the computer. Hashtag Twitter. Hashtag Nachos. <laughs> no glimpse into the future. But there, this is, this is really exciting for Twitter. But not to be outdone, uh, Facebook will still have a live feed of your ex-girlfriend thriving without you. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, meanwhile, in the world of baseball, Washington national Bryce Harper received some flack uh, for wearing... He wore a hat that said, Make Baseball Fun Again on the opening day. Now, the hat is a take on Donald Trump's Make America Great Again hat, and what better way to make baseball fun than by reminding all of your Latino teammates about how Donald Trump wants to deport them? <laughs> this is fun! It's fun! <laughs> I gotta say... Personally, I I'm new to this country, and if I'm honest, I haven't gotten into baseball yet. I haven't. But, but watching it yesterday, it did make me think that Bryce Harper's got a point, and there are ways that you can make it more fun, right? So here's our first idea. Make the games five hours shorter. <laughs> right? Am I right? You'll still, you'll still get a good nine hours of baseball. <laughs> Don't worry. Here's another idea, which we think is... We let Chris Christie play one game a year for every team, <laughs> right? He has to play on a team every year for one game. It's a curse for them, but a blessing for us, because we get to see this every week. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> another idea, which I, I actually quite like, com comes out of... How about each team gets to use a horse? <laughs> Use it however they want. Points for creativity. <laughs> Spruce up. And my final suggestion for making baseball fun again is to make running through the bases really running through the bases. Like, first base, you have to kiss the first base man. <laughs> Second base, you just cop a feel. <laughs> Third base, little of the old downstairs. <laughs> and a home run, put the kids to bed. It's grown-up time. <laughs> That's how you make baseball fun.